Potoff challenges him and Hemp Milianenko delivers. Oh my goodness, she challenged him twice. He's unintelligibly defending That's himself. Done. Oh my goodness. He's, you know, he's waving him and he's waving in. He gets hit and see his knees go a little bit limp right there. And he steps back and waves him in again. Oh, usual then he drops his hands and thought it was funny and the right hand bounced off his head he was absolutely done Straighten Pete right up with that shot. Oh! There's a left hand by Pete, and down goes oh. Campbell. Oh. 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 That's it. Then it goes like a big cat. Rockman, jab, 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 jab. Four of them chases Lewis across the ring. taking him seriously because he wasn't fighting his normal fight. Oh. Lewis smiled after that one. He smiled and became more insolent and more lackadaisical and careless. Rockman got inside and hit him a terrific straight right. Oh. Right,那个left,他把打打的技术比较全面。啊,你看拳腿、嘴巴都有。现在我这一龙。啊！这又是犯了一个低级的错误，一个低级的错误。你怎么能这样让对手打你呢？武僧一龙重重的躺下了，又
Wow, what a shot to end the fight in the final seconds of round number two. A fantastic finish, fitting of a fantastic fight. Spirited stuff from both fighters, and Carlo Junio came in with the massive... Something's in here. will both appear weary and maybe. Oh. And down goes Mayorga. He's claiming a low blow. He's claiming a low blow. The referee the is counting. Says no. He's not going to get up. And that's it. And ranked number five in the IBL. a little 
little of Ali and Sugar Ray Leonard. He could be a very popular fighter over the horizon. He has come along quickly. Last time we saw him, he looked extremely loose, very confident. And he puts on a show. against the solidly built Booker T. Word, and uh, that was not part of the program. And they need to get down there and wipe that water off. That can hurt somebody's ankle. Very flamboyant Anthony Hembrick. He has uh, that Magic Johnson, Isaiah Oh, and he has the smile right off his face. I feel like a champ, he said. Booker T. Right on top of Hembrick. He could smell it now. Hembrick, no balance, goes down. Five, facing his first defeat as a pro. No three knockdown rule in effect. He says he's okay. He has survived the 20 seconds. It is over. Three strikes and you're out. Booker T. Rowe has come into the backyard of Anthony Hembrick and taken him out. This man does it all. He raps, he flirts with the girls, and he is one heck of a fighter. He is a great fighter. He's got some very good Muay Thai skills, and he's proved it time and time and time and time again. Tonight, his keys to victory is wait it out. His opponent is a heavy, heavy puncher. He has a habit of beating people at their own game, and we will find out tonight. Jason, the elder, 29 years of age. Both fighters weighed in approximately the same weight. But the hometown advantage goes to the Delhi Don, Jason Solomon. What time it is? I want to say action, action, stop, and stop. I want a clean fight, right? Touch gloves, let's make it official. Back. Trunks. Representing the Mumbai Maniacs. Jason Ramesh Solomon representing the Delhi Gladiators in the red. And here we go for the welcome Oh! He's hurt! He's hurt! He's hurt! He's hurt! He's out! Unbelievable! But ladies and gentlemen, do not let all of this fool you. He is a great fighter. He's got some very good Muay Thai skills and he's proved it time and time and time and time again. And this man does it all. He raps, he flirts with the girls, and he is one heck of a fighter. Wins seven inside the distance. He won just three weeks ago, or two and a half weeks ago, the vacant Isha. He's, gonna, he's making a lot of facial gestures here. You're going to be able to take so much of this, I can tell you. <laughs> Have a look at this. He's granting some bants, isn't he? Oh, he's a showman and a half. He actually had, he's 36, he actually had 300 Muay Thai fights. And a good show of it, though. Hey! Stop, stop, stop! A couple, couple maybe, yeah, keep him up a bit. Yeah. <laughs> good two-punch combination up high. No, we haven't. <laughs> the show's over there. The yeah, the show's show's like right. Which is why he's doing that. Yeah, that was low. Happy doing what he's doing and not necessarily winning a whole lot. Uh, shouldn't lie. Oh, big overhand right by Sudava. Right, right hand. He's given it everything, isn't he? Oh, God. Big shot camp game is over. Hey, <laughs> and once a Muay Thai fighter, <laughs> always. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Let's be Sound asleep. That's it. That's a big victory. Big punch. What? What? That, that was a flop if I've ever seen one. I've never seen that before. <laughs> That was the one that did all the damage. He went down hard. Yeah, no, I, I think he, you watch it. He had his arm hand across his face. He, he, you, he's, he's foxing, I'm telling you. Look, if you've been knocked out, you don't do that. 
That is one of the most bizarre sequences of events. <laughs> El único ejercicio que puede hacer Van Damme lo está haciendo él. Lo está haciendo pura concentración. Miren la musculatura. ¡Qué, qué fuerza golpea los guantes! 11 de la noche. ¿Quién será el arriesgado que se suba a pelear con este hombre, hombre? ¡Qué locura! Mucha sombra. Mucho... ¡No! ¡No! Se atrevió uno a las 11 de la noche que dice, pégame primero. Te voy a dar la vela, brother. Tira tu primer puñete. Aquí estoy yo. ¡Lo sentó! success with that. It's the only bell. Oh, what a knockout. No way he'll get up from that. Fight's over. Ashley Saxon wins in amazing style. But our concerns straight away go to Usman Ahmed because that... He stepped right in with a punch. I mean, he was throwing...